In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. This Mass is offered for the repose of Conrado Ganaden. We now call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that putting off our old self with all its ways, we may live as Christ did, or through the healing Paschal remedies, you have conformed us to his nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called Synagogue of Freedom Men, Cyrenians and Alexandrians, and people from Cilicia and Asia came forward and debated with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit which he spoke. Then they instigated some men to say, We have heard him speaking blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people, the elders and the scribes, accosted him, seized him, and brought him before the Sanhedrin. They presented false witnesses who testify. This man never stopped saying things against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him claim that this Jesus of the Nazarene will destroy this place and change the custom that Moses handed down to us. All those who sat in the Sanhedrin looked intently at, at him and saw that his face was like the face of an angel. The word of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Though princes, princes meet and talk against me, your servants meditate on your statutes. Yes, your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. I declare my ways, and you answer me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Remove from me the way of falsehood and favor me with your law. The way of truth I have chosen, I have set your ordinance before me. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. <laughs> The Lord be with you. <clears throat> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. <clears throat> After Jesus had fed the 5,000 men, 
His disciples saw him walking on the sea. The next day, the crowd that remained across the sea saw that there had been only one boat there, and that Jesus had not gone along with his disciples in the boat, but only his disciples had left. Other boats came from Tiberias, near the place where they had eaten the bread. When the Lord gave thanks, when the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into boats and came to Capernaum looking for Jesus. And when they found him across the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered them and said, Amen, amen, I say to you, you are looking for me not because you saw signs, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him the Father God has set his seal. So they said to him, What can we do to accomplish the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in the one he sent. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> We normally think that faith and good works are separate, that if we attend Mass and if we do our prayers and rosaries, we are practicing our faith, and that if we are helping the poor and doing acts of charity, we are doing good works. But the two really are not separate. Even when we are in meditation, when we are physically inactive by just attending Mass or doing prayer, we are doing good works. Faith is something that informs our activities. It is the environment by which we operate, by which we act. And therefore, we can do our physical work and other activities faithfully, religiously. We do it with that idea and intent in mind that we are doing these things to promote the kingdom of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> With the disciples on the way to Emmaus, let us ask Christ to stay with us a while and answer our prayers. For all who seek truth and for all who guide truth seekers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civil authorities and for all who work toward the common good, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, the unemployed, and all who struggle to make ends meet, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who try to walk in the way of the Lord, and for all who have strayed from the path, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all present in this holy place, and for all who recognize the Lord in one another, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for the repose of Conrado Ganaden, 
For whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, you open our eyes to your Son, hear our needs, and grant what will bring us closer to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my dear friend, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray as the Lord has taught us. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracely grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their place the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.